Alright, I'm going to show you how to launch Aliens vs. Predator 2 and Primal Hunt in widescreen mode without needing to download anything at all. There's a lot of mods out there, but I'm going to show you how to do it without any mods at all. First, I'll quickly show you how to do this for the retail game that is without any mods anything just how the retail game is supposed to be launched with these parameters <laughs> so this is primal hunt but this launcher works the exact same way for avp2 so real quick you want to do game screen Plus game screen height, 1080, screen height, 1080, game screen width, 1920, screen width, 1920. And I am going to add plus windowed 1. You don't need to add that, that's optional. This is just so I launch the game in windowed mode. Alright, I'm going to launch it. And it launches in windowed mode and it's in widescreen. Um, so that's really quick how to do it if you see you're still launching the base game with the CD. Next, I will go over how to do it without the CD. This works in exactly the same way that I showed you how to launch a game without a CD. Um, we're going to do it by creating these batch files. Um, before we start, make sure you've installed this game completely and correctly. Otherwise, it may not work. Um, Alright, so you want to do new text file. Um, I show all file extensions. That just makes this a lot easier to deal with. Um, like I just created this new text document. If you don't have that, then you won't see the .txt at the end. Um, and you'll see why that's difficult. Um, because I want to call this AVP2 Primal Hunt because I'm doing this for Primal Hunt launch widescreen and I want to change that TXT to BAT bat for Windows batch file yes I'm sure I want to change it um, if you don't have that enabled, you can just go to your folders options and check the box. Um, I think it's uncheck hide known file type extensions or something like that. Um, so to get this launching in widescreen, edit it, open it in a text editor like Notepad. Everybody has Notepad. Um, and then you want to type out start lift tech dot exe. I have this text in the video description too, so you can copy and paste it from there. Um, command file avp2 commands dot text. And here's the widescreen part plus game screen height 1080 plus screen height. 1080 plus game screen width 1920 plus screen width 1920 and you don't have to do this part I'm going to type in plus windowed 1 because I want to launch the game in a window and again, I'll have this text in the video description that you can just copy and paste from. Um, 
these these um this part the widescreen part you can actually write this same exact text the screen height and sc screen width you can paste that into the command line parameters in your avp2 launcher just like as if you were launching a skin or mod or something um and that will also apply the widescreen stuff or whatever resolution you want here just change these numbers to what you want and that's all given that the engine supports it like i'm not testing this with uh 8k or 4k right now i'm sure it probably doesn't work but i don't know it might anyways so i'm going to launch the game Now I did this for Primal Hunt. This is going to work the exact same way for AVP2. Um, but I think it had more purpose for Primal Hunt because there's a lot of widescreen mods already for AVP2. Like the awesome master server patch that has widescreen support in it. Um, and there's, I mean, there's several. I think there's just something called widescreen mod, and then there's Lithfix. And I think Lithfix can work on Primal Hunt too. So you could try those mods as well to get widescreen support. Um, except most of them are not going to work with Primal Hunt. Um, one thing to note when you go, if you go into options, do not click on graphics. If you click on graphics, it's going to reset the screen resolution of your game um, to one of the supported ones. Um, so it won't be widescreen anymore. If you do that, just relaunch the game. Um, and as long as you're launching it with those command parameters, you'll be back in widescreen again. Um, So that's how you can launch AVP2 or Primal Hunt in widescreen without downloading any mods, anything. Um, instead of the Windows batch file approach, you could also you could also make it like a Windows shortcut to just lithtech.exe, the engine. That same stuff applies. You would just have this shortcut launch these exact command parameters um, and one thing to note um, about my other video on the no CD launch I realized this AVP2 commands text file I realized that doesn't appear there after you install the game it appears there when you actually launch the um, the game launcher for the first time um, that's what creates that text file otherwise it's not there uh, regardless I put that I put the contents the default contents of this file in the video description of both my other video and I'll put it in this one as well so you can create your own launchers um, And in this file, I think you can even add your own mods too. You can add mods into your f the command file or just tag them onto here. Everything here, all of this again, you can throw this into your um, command parameters if you launch the game. Um, and that's it. That's how you launch AVP2 in widescreen. See ya.